All right, boys and girls, I'm here to tell you about a problem that one of my other followers on the channel found. Thank you very much uh, for finding this. I wish I had known about this. For some reason, I didn't find it. Uh, apparently, uh, character creator four or three, the transformer doesn't work anymore. You notice this is a character I brought in. Uh, it has all the textures in it, but if you'll notice, it doesn't bring in all the textures. In particular, it doesn't bring in the bump maps and the roughness maps. Normally, an avatar won't have a metallic map, so that's not one. It might have opacity, though, but those ma it used to bring those maps in, the all these maps here, and it's only bringing in now the diffuse color. So that's wrong. <laughs> so what can we do to fix it? Well, there is a workaround. It's a pain in the ass, but it's a workaround. So the first thing you want to do is just export it as normal and bring it in as normal. Okay. Just bring it in, even though it's only going to have the texture. So you go to transformer, uh, you go to transformer here, go to CC3. Well, we're going to go through it. I'm going to show you what we'll do, but for now, you're going to bring it in. You're only going to have the diffuse textures. And then for those diffuse textures, you're going to click on them, text files, you're going to go to save texture. In this particular case, I've already done this. It's like those baking shows where I've done it before. But you're going to save all the textures out. And the four I really want in spe specifically are the face, the body, the arms, and the legs. Uh, you can also do the fingernails and the toenails if you want, but I don't really feel like that's necessary. But in any case, that's how you're going to do it. So you're going to go through the head, the body, the arm, and the leg, and you're going to save out those diffuse textures. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go in to where you have those diffuse textures. And this is a, a, a Genesis 9 figure. So this is a little different than uh, the other figures of Genesis 8. But on Genesis 9, we're going to go down here. This is the character. Go down to surfaces. And we're going to go to arms. So there's the arms. We're going to go to the base. And this texture here is the the diffuse texture that, that does come in properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out where that texture is. And remember, I showed you how to do this before. You can hover over these textures, and it gives you the path. There's that path underneath there where the textures are located. So we did that already. We know where the textures are, so they're located right here. So what I want to do here is right where this arms is, this arms base texture, I'm going to take the arms normal map, and I'm going to just drop it over in there. So that drops the normal under the arm. And so I also have to do that for all the other textures. So I go to the body and the base, and again, that's the body base texture. But then I'm going to go here to the body here. Uh, 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 go here without doing this to more nine. Body and drop in that normal into there. So I'm going to do all that for all the normals, and then I'm going to export this as the name of the character plus the normals. Uh, so you'll you'll see that we've already done this again the cooking show and you're going to do this again with the roughness so you're going to go in for the body after you exported this as normal you're going to go to the body and take the roughness textures and drop and drag them into the base texture instead of instead of having that you're going to drop it right in to where the base texture is like that and it's going to drop it in there so then you're going to export that out as roughness so now you're going to have three different files and you're going to go up to transformer and this is how you bring them in transformer and you're going to go you've already got the diffuse remember we already did this with just the diffuse so for roughness we're going to go to here and we're going to do advanced always want to do advanced this is the one supposedly that brings in the das textures it doesn't normally if you just do basic it only brings in the diffuse and if you do advanced it does the others as it says here it loads all the das textures. well it doesn't work so that that's broken it got broken around uh, about i think about a month uh, after i i did it in april so it got broke shortly in the month of April or May, somewhere in April. And then you're going to go bake body texture. Always do this, even though it's only going to bring in the diffuse, but that's all right. In this particular case, we're going to do this, and we're going to load this in. This is going to take a while, so I think I'll probably end up cutting this part of it out so that you don't, <laughs> you don't wait around for me. Da, 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 da. And this is why it's going to be a problem, because it's going to wait. The reason this takes so long, and you might say, Mike, why don't I just drag and drop those textures right into here instead? You know, why don't I go over to where I had those textures, where you just showed me those textures, and just drag and drop them right into here? Uh, well, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't do that because they're remapped. So the, the DAS textures don't match up with the CC4 textures or the CC3 either way. They don't match up. So you can't just drag and drop them into there. Now, if you have the skin gen tools, you can use those, but it's just as much of a pain in the ass to do those as it is to do it this way. So this is a way you can do it without even owning the skin gen tools, which is why the skin gen tools really aren't that uh, important to buy anyway. Um, but in any case, so, so uh, you have to do it this way so it remaps those characters and gets the map right. So as you can see, it's uh, 
bringing in the uh, def the roughness. Now remember, this is the roughness maps, and uh, it's loading those in. <laughs> Maybe I won't cut this out. You'll just have to deal with how long this takes. And I have a very fast machine, so uh, this is a 40, 40, 80, 40, 90. Anyway, it's the, it's the biggest, uh, fastest machine you can get, and it still takes a while. So anyway, so now we have the roughness maps in that diffuse character. So you're going to go ahead and get in, go out to texture, and you're going to save the texture as the roughness, which is what I've done here. As you can see, saves all those roughness things, okay? I'm not going to do it because I've already done that. And then the last thing you do is you do that with the normals. Now, somebody's going to have very interesting with the normals. We're going to bring those that normals one in. Remember, up till now, they've all been coming in under the diffuse side, right, where they are when we bake the body texture. They're bringing in the diffuse, which is how we're cheating. We're kind of, we're kind of fooling it into thinking that we're bringing it in the diffuse and then going to use those maps elsewhere. In this particular case, something very weird happens. And again, I think it's related to how broken this thing is. Hopefully the DAZ devs will figure it out. And I'm not, sorry, the Real Illusion devs will figure this out and get it fixed. But in the meantime... This is our workaround. So what happens we're here, and I'm going, to sh I'm going to tell you what happens, and then I'm going to try to explain it to you. After we go here, we put in, remember we've gone through here, we put the normals map in, in the place of the diffuse and then save it all out. Well, in this particular case, the normals will end up in the right spot. This is really weird. They don't end up in the right spot when you export the whole character out, but when you put them in the diffuse, for some reason, they end up in the right spot. Oh, and I should mention one more thing, too while we're waiting for this. This works this way with those four maps for a Gen 9 figure. For a Gen 8 figure, you're going to have some additional maps. You're going to have, uh, in addition to the head, you're also going to have the lips and the ears. And they use the same map. They use that same head map. You just drop it in for the lips and the ears. The same thing as the head. I, I, it's kind of weird that they would have two separate uh, areas for the lips and the ears and use the same map, but they do. So that's an extra step you'll have to do for a Gen 8 figure is, is put the lips and the ears as a head map, put it into those places. So you still end up with the four maps inside of, uh, inside of Character Crater, but you're going to use that head map three times inside of Daz, if that makes sense. And I, and I, don't, I can't tell you what uh, Gen 3 is. I'm quite honestly, I don't use Gen 3 characters anymore. They may even work. I don't know. I, I didn't try Transformer on Gen 3. I know it doesn't work on Gen 8 or Gen 9 characters. So, oh, you might ask me too, Mike, well, why doesn't your Python routine bring in the, the, the textures and things? Why can't we just use that? And that would be great, except once again, we can't just load the textures in. We have to have them remapped to these. Uh, I can load the textures in for props and for sets and for clothing because they don't have to be remapped. But for the avatar, they have to be remapped, so my routine cannot process it properly. Trust me, guys, I tried. I've, I've asked for them to allow me to do it. Uh, hopefully they will, but in the meantime, we can't even use that as a workaround. So we're basically screwed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as you can see, this is eventually getting there. I'm, and remember now, we're loading in the normals, which we put into the diffuse map slot. So right now, those uh, normals, but you notice it says processing normal. It didn't say that before when we loaded in the diffuse of the roughness maps. For some reason, sticking a normal map inside of the diffuse map suddenly makes this work which leads me to believe that something weird is happening. And see, it even says that processing opacity, it's very odd when we change those maps. Uh, and I may explore this further for your benefit, guys. I'll see if I can figure out some way of, of cheating or some other way that this is worth. But in the meantime, this gives you something that you can do to uh, at least make your characters come out properly uh, <laughs> until I figure out something else, which I might. Uh, the other thing that occurs to me, anyway, it's, but we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll, we, we have things to talk about. Okay, so you know, so now as you can see, remember when we put that normal map in to the um, diffuse slot, it came in the diffuse, but it also came in in the, in the right bump slot. And it is the right place. You can see it, it processed the normals correctly. If we, what's weird about it too is if we go, for example, to the head here and we look at the normals, if you hover over here to look at it, this is not the right normal map for the head, even though that's the normal map we dropped in. I don't know if you can see, but you can see kind of, I can't move the mouse over to show you, but, but see where this mouse, rup, 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 right, let's go here. Again, right where these, at the edges here, where these textures are, you can see that's behind, that's the back of the head. 
That's really the back of the head. It's sort of weird. Here's the front of the head right here. So the front, <laughs> the front of the head is correct than the normals. It's weird. I know. So anyway, so you probably can guess what happens next. So what you have to do is you have to go in. And we can go in here. Remember where you exported it, where you took it out. You have to take all of your maps that you took out. So like for the face, we're going to stuck in the face. The diffuse map, and the same for the normals, for the roughness. I'm sorry, the roughness. We already have the normal. So there we've got the face with all the maps, and you're going to do that with all the rest of the places. So uh, just drag and drop those maps that you saved out, and that's your workaround in the meantime until we can figure out a better workaround or have the devs fix what's wrong in Character Creator. Hopefully that helps, and we will see you around. Oh, and as usual, I always say, if you have any questions or problems, email me, email me at mike at kellytown.com. I will be glad to answer any problems you have. So thank and we'll see you on the forums.